They go by industry names like Juggler and Wolfhound, cell tracking equipment that's cheap, small, and easily used. Purchase records reviewed by the Wall Street Journal show law enforcement agencies have been buying these devices for investigation since 2010. Each costs as little as $2,400, some $7,500. Industry experts say the devices passively gather radio waves when the phone communicates with a cell tower, a way to collect data that does not necessarily require a court order. But they could be used with more invasive devices known as stingrays. That technology acts like a fake cell phone tower, capturing identifying information such as location. Earlier this year, our Jake Ward reported on stingrays, which law enforcement could use to scoop up data on every phone on a street corner or at a protest. People report their cell phones um, acting quite weirdly, the batteries draining, um, the interference with uh, the ability to communicate, um, that we've heard these problems arise elsewhere. Over the years, law enforcement has often declined to publicly comment on any of these devices. They often cite public safety and jeopardizing investigations. Privacy activists have been fighting against their covert use, though, worrying the devices could be used to find cell phones inside people's homes. Many years ago, our founding fathers made the decision to say, you know what, if police want to enter into a house, they've got to get a search warrant. Um, it would be a lot easier for law enforcement to say, you know, we're just going to enter everybody's house and look for crime, you know, once a week. Uh, you know, that would make their job easier, probably make us a lot safer. But we decided that, you know what, there are important liberty interests at stake. More than a dozen states have passed laws restricting location tracking devices, requiring warrants beforehand except in emergency situations. Ines Perret, Al Jazeera.